Hey guys, it's Hector here with another Figma unboxing and review. And here I have Mikasa Ackerman, which is Figma product number 203, and from Max Factory and Masaki Apsi. I guess that's a sculptor, I'm not 100% sure. Like I said in my Aaron Yeager uh, figure unboxing, same, um, you know, sculptor, I guess, if it is a sculptor. So just check out the box first. Of course, up here it says, um, warning, this is not a toy for ages 15 and up, choking hazard. My camera's on a tripod right now, that's why I have to kind of tilt it, because I can't really move it that easily. Um, again, same box, and then right here you can see all the different poses she can do. I guess I can move this back here, the table back, and yeah, like that. There we go. As you can see, and you have different faces, a lot of different equipment, just like the Aaron Jaeger um, Figma. If you didn't see the Aaron Jaeger Figma, I'll still fully cover all the equipment and stuff in this. And here's all the basic information, all in Japanese, like usual, with QR code and stuff. Alright, so let's open this up. I already took a little sticker off the top, so should just pop it open. Should be good. Alright, so we have a double. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about, forgot about the tape already. Whoa. And there she goes. So we have kind of a clamshell here for this piece. And then we've got other pieces back here, but it's taped in and it does not want to open. There we go. Jeez. This tape is a pain in the ass. It's not even like regular tape, because it's just... Regular tape you get at the store, at least at the 99 cent store, it just rips off, it seems like. This is just industrial strength or something. I don't even know. So we have these little pieces which are little grappling hooks that shoot out of the 3D maneuver gear. And then we have like the, oh, there goes piece. And then we have like the steam that can connect onto the back of the 3D maneuver gear so it looks like it's propelling you. Well, it's not really steam, it's just compressed air. And then we have the cloak, which you just slip over. Well, you gotta pop her head off and then you slip over the neck. And this part kind of connects to her back so it stays up in the air. Camera does not want to focus. Okay, there we go. And we have the figure itself. As you can see, plastic around her neck because her head can just pop off. And then you take the plastic off. Got joints on the elbow, the shoulder, the wrist. Look at the wrist, the head, the torso, the legs, um, the knees. And the, what do you call it? The ankles and the toes. The camera does not want to focus. Yeah, I should probably put this up here so maybe it'll help with the camera focusing a little bit. But yeah, there you go. You can see there's a bunch of different joints to help keep her in different poses. And then just pop the head off, take this little plastic piece off and then stick your thumbnail or any nail in between her bangs. Come on, ah, there we go. Remove the hair and then you can remove the face. Just like all the other Figmas, I guess. And then you can put another face on right there and then just pop the bangs back on. You have various other faces and then this is more compressed air that you can put right out of the grappling hooks. And I don't know what this white piece is. That was not included in the Aaron figure set. Kind of looks like, um, like, oh, I see. Yeah, it's the, you can take the, what is this thing called? A scarf off. And then I guess you put the collar on. I guess this is the collar of the shirt. So yeah, that's what it is. And the scarf is really soft plastic, and the rest of it is hard plastic. Well, except this thingy. This is pretty soft, too. And then we have... Whoops. <laughs> the swords. 
the swords can, can connect to the 3D maneuver gear. This little piece connects to the bottom of the sword. The camera will focus. There we go. That little piece connects to the bottom of the sword. And this connects to her back. And these connect to her legs. And these are also on little swivels, sort of. And then you can pop this piece off of the 3D maneuver gear and then put the compressed air looking thing piece right here so it looks like it's shooting out air. And of course, you have this you have extra wire, I guess. Um, more wire and hooks. I guess you can hang them. I didn't really figure out what this was for from the last Figma. And then we got the little arm to hold her up, the stand, and all the different hands, and another wrist joint. So some hands are, well, her basic default hands are just the fist, so you can do the salute, I guess. And then we got the smaller hands that can hold on to the sword. Actually, these ones are to hold on to the sword, because these little fingers slip into the little trigger parts of the sword. And then these ones, I don't know what these are for since the hand is kind of like this, but you can't really hold on to a sword like that, so I don't know what you hold on to. Then we have opened, slightly opened and all the way open hands. All left hands on one side, all the right hands on the other. So I'm going to put this all together to however I want it, and then I'll come back with the final results. Okay, I think I'm done positioning my Mikasa Attack on Titan Figma figure. I actually did not know until really looking at the box that you can put the arm of the stand in the back of this, you know, steam. Well, it's not steam. I keep, I keep calling it steam. It's just the air compressor, the air coming out of the 3D maneuver here. I did not know you can put the arm in the back. So yeah, I learned that just now. And... I put the whole 3D maneuver gear on her, and the swords, and the angry face, and the cloak. But she cannot be held up by the arm alone, she still has to have a foot on the base. I thought maybe I can have her hovering in air, but apparently not. So yeah, she has one foot on the base, the other foot's up. So I hope you liked this video, and if you appreciated it, you can give it a thumbs up. And um, I will leave a link in the description if you want to buy this yourself. You can buy it from Tokyo Otaku Mode or from Amazon. I will leave an Amazon listing link or whatever in the description. Because if you use my link, I'll get a small cut and you won't have to pay anything extra. It'll just help keep my website and my YouTube channel running. So um, I still have two more Figma figures to unbox and review. And of course I review a ton of other Japanese and Otaku related products. So if you want to see any of that, Definitely subscribe, because more is coming in the future.